Hi everyone, Dinesh Sarasena here, and today we're going to be talking about imaging the abductor tendons of the hip. As with my previous talks, I recommend two resources. Firstly, the ESSR guidelines on imaging the hip, and also ultrasoundcases.info. And here are the images from the ESSR guidelines. So to scan this area, you tend to have the patients lying on the contralateral side with the area exposed. In a longitudinal orientation, you will see the greater trochanter with the tensor fascia and the gluteus medius tendon overlying. And if you go proximally, you will see the gluteus minimus. In a short axis orientation, remember there's the facets of the greater trochanter. So anteriorly, you have the gluteus minimus. Over the middle facet, you have the gluteus medius. And overlying this, you will have the tensor fasciolata or the ITB, depending on how far up you go. In practice, as in the ESSR guidelines, I tend to have the patient lying on their side. In addition, I tend to ask the patient to flex the hip as well as the knees to 90 degrees, as this confers a lot more stability in this position. And when you're imaging, hopefully you'll get better quality images as well. When scanning this area, I tend to use a linear transducer. That's because when you are in this sideline position, the structures tend to become more superficial and you will get better quality images with the linear transducer. Here we can see the tensor fasciolata, the gluteus medius tendon, and the greater trochanter. It's usually a good idea to turn the transducer 90 degrees to assess the structures in a short axis orientation. Again, you will have the gluteus medius tendon, the tensor fasciolata overlying, and beneath it you will have the greater trochanter. In situations where there's a bursa, you will find this between the tensor fasciolata and the gluteus medius tendon. To check for a snapping ITB, you can ask the patient to flex and extend the hip, and you should see it snap over the greater trochanter and the gluteus medius. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon.